in an effort to produce the highest quality semen possible, we do post-thaw and quality checks. Post-thaws are done 10 to 14 days after the semen is frozen. Then whenever an order is pulled, we do a, what we call a quality check, which tells us the motility at that time, so we know what kind of semen we're sending out of here. If we have anything under a 45% motility, we do not send it out. We put 25 million live sperm cells per straw. We ship all over the world. We, Canada and South America, many countries in South America, we ship to Europe, to Turkey. I have an order right now for Iran that we're getting ready to ship out, Peru, Hungary. There's about anywhere you can think of. This has been a great, great, great show. I tell you what, this red show gets better every year. It gets deeper and deeper and deeper. All these winners came back. They're what we like. They're great legged heifers. They're very, very well balanced. They all got rib. They all got high chines, high front ends, great feet and legs. And folks, if you would, please join me and show your appreciation to all this. Taking nothing away from the ones that are still in the middle of the ring, I pulled out the five heifers that uh, Justin and I prefer in the show today, starting with a senior yearling. What a big, massive lady, but she moves around on good wheels. She's wide pinned. She's high chined. She'll cock her tail head sometimes, but that's no big deal. Just a tremendous, tremendous effort. The winter yearling, she's a lady. She's got a long neck, a high chine, sharp as a pack, good rib structure. Just a beautiful heifer. Maybe change her in her leg just a fracker. Spring yearling. All the style and balance in the world. She's flat bone, high chine, super dairy. Might want to give her a little more rear flank. Senior calf, super stylish, fancy and white. <laughs> you get behind her, she's wide in the pins. Had a nice flat bone to her hock. Very, very well balanced. Tremendous rib as well. Then you got this baby calf. Well, if you don't fall in love with her, you don't need to be here. <laughs> I tell you what, she is some fancy. I'm going to do like I did in the junior show. And as I said before, I don't if you agree me, with me or you don't agree with me, please show these exhibitors a huge round of applause. In reverse order, Justin will go congratulate me. The Honorable Mention Junior Champion of the Grand International Red and White Heifer Show. What a calf. I don't care one lick if she's a spring calf or what she is, she has got style. She's high headed. Sister ain't too bad either. I believe I'd flush that cow again. What a calf. Maybe not mature enough to go the whole way with her, but I think she fits that honorable mention spot really easy for me. We're now going to introduce to you the reserve junior champion of your 2009 Grand International Red and White Show. It's the green one. Yeah. It's this beautiful winter here. I love her when she come in the rain, folks, and I'll tell you what, I still love her. Maybe change her just a whisker on her rear legs. But when you get behind her, I love the high chine, the great drape, the great arch to her rib, the depth of rib she has. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you join Justin and I, show your appreciation to this year's junior champion effort. We both agreed unanimous, unanimously on the three and the way we had them picked. Yes. Yes. What a beautiful battle. Oftentimes you hear judges talk about that combination of strength and dariness. Here it is. She's got that long, lean neck, tremendous high chime, 
But I tell you what, she is as wide as a freight train to go right along with it. And a great leg, great power, great strength. What a combination. Spring early, just not quite enough rear rib, but I love her. Senior calf, same way. Just like to see a little more tone to her, a little cleaner up through the head and neck. But this year's the year for the senior yearling, the winter yearling, and the baby march. Congratulations, everybody. We certainly look forward to tomorrow.